Hey everybody, how you doing? So I just want to make a quick update. I've uh, changed my chess.com username, as you can see here on the screen, as well as my YouTube channel name. I just feel like both of these names are more fitting in general and just uh, make more sense for the long term. My plan with this channel is to make uh, different types of content uh, as time goes on and gradually kind of uh, go into different formats, not, not just this kind of rating climb that I'm doing today. Although I will, of course, continue with the rating climb on a daily basis anyways. However, in the future, since I do intend to make different kind of uh, chess videos and uh, formats and stuff like that, as I just said, uh, it just made more sense, you know? Okay, let's play some chess. Okay, e4. Here we go. Let's play a French. So e4, e6. He plays the two pawns in the center. We play d5, pretty standard. Okay, so he goes for the advanced variation. c5 is the move here. Let's see. He's thinking already, which is strange. Usually, I mean, knight f3 or c3. I think c3 is the main line. Usually people will play one of those two moves or they'll play knight to d2. This guy goes for the check. I feel like exchanging my my light square bishop makes sense. Although, yeah, I'm going to go for that. I want to exchange my light, light square bishop. Maybe the queen is not in the right diagonal after the exchange. But... Um, Uh, this bishop is usually, you know, is the bad French bishop, so it gets stuck there, and it's not much. Uh, it's not much to do with it. So he takes. Ah, interesting. Maybe taking on c5, or taking here. No, I think I take on c5. It helps me develop another piece. You know what I mean? He just castles. He doesn't care about this pawn, I guess. I mean. If he lets me take that pawn, I think I'm just going to take it right now. And then next is like knight f6 and castles. Yeah. So he has no center pawns, which is good for us. Good start. We're up a pawn. Uh, we have uh, the typical structure of e6, d5. c3, I don't understand very much. So he prevents his knight from developing naturally. He wants to go... No, he doesn't even have a check. So I don't know what, what this move does. I am just going to develop. Just going to develop, yeah. Be solid. Uh, develop your pieces. That's what I want to start doing more of. Excuse me. So... He plays knight d4, which I don't see what it does very much. I can just reroute and then take, or I'm just going to castle, you know? So he tries to go after my bishop. Going back here makes sense, I feel like. Also, maybe here. Uh, but then he doesn't, have, no, he doesn't have that jump. So let's go back maybe and he might go here and then I just want to keep the bishop on this long diagonal. Yeah, so bishop b6 is completely fine. We still uh, have a lot of time. Um, the 10, sec 10 seconds increment is definitely helpful. It's definitely helpful. I just want to activate now uh, a rook. I feel like this is a pretty passive move. Like this, this is not good. You have no development. So now I'm starting of, to think of ways how to attack him. And this pawn is, I'd say it's weak. So uh, he can't really develop the knight without losing that pawn if my rook is on c8. At this moment, it's preventing the development of the knight. So, and usually in, the, in, in French structures, after you have taken in the center with uh, your C pawn. You have the open, uh, you have the open file there. 
for your rocks. So, yeah, all good. Now I'm wondering if I go knight to g6 or if I go knight to c6. Since we have more time now, it's a good good uh, opportunity to calculate some concrete lines. So knight g6 attacks the bishop, he can always go back. It's fine. Okay, knight to uh, c6 is attacking the knight twice. It's defended twice, however. Uh, but maybe getting rid of this knight is something that I would like to do. And then he would recapture with the pawn. Uh, that's an isolated pawn here. So it could be subject to attack. <clears throat> Another idea is knight to c4. Although I don't see where I'm going after that. Knight c4 and I, I don't... I can't find a follow-up, good follow-up move. So my instinct says knight uh, to c6 makes the most sense. Um, okay, let's go for it. Let's go for that. I mean, if he takes... We're just, uh, you know, putting our pieces on the c file. And that's... Uh, we really have that under, under control. Also, if he takes my bishop is active again, well, sort of. I mean, it's eyeing uh, this diagonal here, so this pawn can't move. And if something goes there, I can capture it because it's pinned. Uh, in, I'm saying like, I mean that like in a future sense, like if something is here and I'm, I am able to capture it, I will. Okay. So the opponent is probably thinking of how to develop the uh, his other knight. No, he takes. Okay, now the question is, should we take with the queen or the rook? My instinct says take with the queen. I don't know why, it just looks like you have quite a lot of pressure down there. This knight still can't develop, this, this pawn is hanging. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's develop the queen and now uh, we get it on the semi-open file. He's moving his bishop again, so he's protecting this. <clears throat> Jumping in here makes sense, I think. He might go here. I'll just go here. He'll go here, trying to cause some trouble though, right? So let's calculate this. Knight e4. Queen goes to g4. He's threatening this checkmate. I go g6. And I'm kind of weakening my diagonal there quite a bit. So you could go... Can't go knight g... Uh, queen g5, I'm sorry. My knight's here. So I'm protecting these two squares. Mm -mm -mm. But he could... Uh go here to try to go there and that's a bit annoying honestly after i'm here though uh, he'll go to h4 takes he'll go there and then he's threatening mate so i don't like that maybe trying to get rid of that bishop is he really threatening to take that knight though he's threatening to get in here though so I might be just putting my queen there and then after looking for this idea. So if I put my queen on c4 and he takes, I have to take my my uh, structure is ruined. If I go knight here again, he goes here, here, here. Yeah, it is a bit of a problem. Knight e4, queen g4. And what do I do? It's crazy that's, you know, that's a move for him. Am I really afraid of the doubled f pawns though? That's my, that's my question. Am I, do I really care that much about those doubled f, f pawns? Like if he takes, takes, and then 
here. I mean, I don't think I do. So I'm going to go here. I do give him this though. Or that. Yeah. Again, I'm not playing very well. I don't know what it is. I haven't been able to get my game uh, going lately. So maybe here, he'll go here. Okay. He's probably going to take the knight. This knight maybe wants to go here. Go there. Okay. So he takes, but I feel like that's okay. I just have this idea now. Go for the attack on the G file. I have to see like where my advantage is. I have this <clears throat> sniper bishop. So he moved it out of the way he wants to play F3, F4, something like that. Take, take, nope. I have this idea now, activating the rook, attacking the knight. He'll go here, and then I'll go there. Yep. No queen g4. Um, I'll stay on this diagonal, I feel like. And then I'm looking at this pawn, still protecting this square if my rook wants to go there. And then also looking at this. Still protecting this square from the check. <clears throat> feel like we're we're fine here up two pawns he goes there with a the knight um his idea is to go here i guess but my idea is to go here and if he goes here to go for this so i'm gonna do that yep feel like uh he has to do something about this now. It doesn't have time for knight d5. <clears throat> knight d6, sorry. He goes for it. So I just capture here and then threatening a mate. He doesn't have a check anywhere. Oh, no, wait a minute. I go here. He has this check. After that, I go here. He doesn't have any follow-up checks. I just take... But he is protecting here. I feel that's okay. I don't want to make a defensive move in this position. I just want to keep attacking him. After I go here, I just have to monitor this, uh, this pawn here. So if he goes check, he has to keep... Uh, Keep a defense of the of G two. Okay, he does um has rook f one threatening this pawn. I wanna threaten his knight. Can't do it. So I wanna threaten the queen trade. Am I in trouble there? Actually, can't do that. So what's the best? Can't go. Can't go anywhere here. Um, can't go here. Could go here. Threatening this. He takes. Have that. So this threatens the queen trade. Protects this pawn, attacks this rook. Also, if I go here, threatening the queen trade, I'm staying on the second rank over there, 
So I'm uh, pretty happy about that. For some reason, the centralized queen, I like that more. I want to check that he doesn't have any checks here apart from this. So, okay, put it here. And then after the trade, I'm protecting and attacking if he does trade, although he's three pawns down, so he shouldn't. If I'm able to trade queens here, play uh, f5, I'm, I'm very happy. And then my next goal is to get that knight out of there. So now he's threatening this, clearly. Gotta defend that somehow. What if I just go here? Go here, doesn't have a check anywhere, so that's okay. Where is his checks? Doesn't have a check there either. So, okay. Let's see. King g7 looks crazy, but maybe it's playable. Maybe next, uh, uh, next idea is to get this knight out of there. So, uh, bishop c7 comes to mind. Because the knight doesn't really doesn't really have that many squares. He can, I mean, if he goes there, that's the least. I don't care about that at all. Like that pawn doesn't mean anything right now. Okay, he's attacking my queen. I might offer the trade and go for this knight at the same time. Okay. Let's see what happens here. My king's a bit exposed. That's the only thing I'm slightly concerned about. What else do I have here? So if he doesn't trade queens, doesn't have any checks really. The queen would have to go back to f3 I'll take the knight and then he'll take here check and then I'll go back and then he doesn't have any I can go there check I go to h8 and I feel like I'm I'm safe there this rook's undefended so I need to be careful about that. This doesn't have a lot of queen moves, really. This is also an idea. Taking the knight, attacking here. And I don't see how my king gets in, you know, made it there. Let's see. Once the queen is here, check king king g8, and then he's maybe threatening like a. What did I think I wait? How did I miss that one? Going here now. Makes sense, no. And then I'm threatening the checkmate, so he has to take right, or he has to at least go back with the queen. Because, yeah. Okay.
So now I'm threatening. Yep. Okay, so he takes, takes. He takes my pawn, doesn't even think about it. I feel like that's it's not his best way of playing. Now I need to do something with my rooks. So maybe come in here. So his knight can only go back and there. So I'll take this pawn over there. Up three pawns. So my priority right now is maybe um, be careful with this because he's looking here. Maybe playing f6, but that weakens here. Just putting everything on the dark squares. Also, the knight coming there, attacking this. I can't move the rook. What if I go here and he goes there? So he controls the file, which is correct. But my bishop controls the key square. And I just might want to start pushing these pawns. Maybe here, here. <clears throat> what if I go here? I have too many pawns, so there's got to be a way for me to to get a, to to get ahead to make those pawns a queen. Like we just start walking those pawns, maybe here and then king up. Okay. It's not possible if he goes here, I'll trade. Okay. So now I just go, just go here. Can't push this because this is weak. This is a check, but that doesn't work. So if I go here, there's, there's no checks. If I go here, he has this. But yeah, let's activate the king. I want to get it off this file. Uh, this uh, seventh rank. Now it's all about just, you know, pushing, pushing, pushing. What if I go here, he goes check. What if I just go after this pawn? Okay. I want to get rid of this pawn. He would have to, he doesn't really have a way to defend. He can go here. So he does have a way to defend. I gotta get this rook activated somehow. Let's push this last pawn up. <clears throat> if the knight ever moves, this pawn is mine. Has a couple checks, but they're covered. So now I'm just starting to uh, looking to push some pawns, open things up, maybe here, then here. Because if I go here and he pushes, um, yeah, I just want to open things up really.
what other ideas do I have? So my pawn is, this one's pinned. So actually this, okay, he goes after this. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like my position. He's got some ideas with this. Can't go here, I can't go here. This knight is super annoying. Like, super annoying. What if I go here? And I reroute. Gotta do something. <laughs> if I reroute here, I'm attacking the knight. And then at least I have some, you know, the king's in a cage, so I have some ideas at least. But yeah, I don't like what I've done here with this this weak pawn and I can't defend it this knight is really whoa so let's check I take and then what he's gonna go here okay okay so discover check Go here, probably. He'll take. Okay. He'll take, yeah. Now, his knight can't really get in there. Might wanna. Might wanna go here and then here. Okay, I'll go there. I just want to keep his king in like a cage, you know? Let's see what happens here. It's not uh, the smoothest game ever, but yeah, I'll, I'll play here. Well, let's do the check me there. So after this check, this is covered. And then this, so I would have to go like here. And he has that. Okay, so move my rook first. Here, here. And then, I don't know, here. Go there, start running. Maybe going here makes sense as well. If I go here, as this, I have to go here, this, here, or I go here, as that, go there. Not really sure what the best best place to go there is. My instinct says here, here, here. Makes sense. Maybe just go in here. And he doesn't have any checks apart from this, and then we exchange. <clears throat> Interesting. No checks here with a rook. It's covered. Idea to go here and then mate. Because when I'm here, he doesn't have a knight check. He doesn't have this check. So I'm pretty safe there on f7. <laughs> so 
So probably has to go here. I'll go here. And you go here. It's still checkmate. So yeah, not easy for him right now, I believe. So how does he stop that? Has to go back here. I'll go here. He'll go there. Yeah. So he misses the... He forgets that the rook's hanging and we just take it. That's it. That's GG. He's still fighting though, um, but now it's really over. Yeah, that's a tough game. That's a tough game, guys. Not easy. Yeah, he resigns. So one mistake, one blunder. Let's just quickly do a game review before we finish up here. Let's see. I think I played uh, decently that game. I was up three pawns. He had uh, a little bit of an attack uh, going there uh, with his queen and checking me and stuff like that. And then I had that pawn problem a little bit later. But um, yeah, the opening was really good. Like best moves, best moves, best moves. And I'm already like up to up 3.3 .3, uh, points of material here. Yeah, I'm so I'm pretty happy there with the opening. The opening was was not bad at all. Yeah, this was a mistake. So, okay, interesting uh, crossroad here. He says knight d uh, ninety four is completely fine, um, but I'm looking at this, and then it says f six, f six, and then bishop has to go somewhere, right? And it's all, everything's good. Okay, so just f6 made sense there, and then no trouble. This was best. Whoa, maiden 5 I missed? Maiden 5. Oh, come on. I should have seen that. I should have seen that, guys. Here, uh, rook takes uh, a3. Damn, rook takes a3, king g1. Take, uh, sorry, check there, check, back, check here, and mate. Oh, that's so sad, I didn't see that. <laughs> Made in five though. Yeah, I knew I had like, I was like on, a, on the offensive there. And then, um, but I didn't see that I was pinning this pawn, therefore I could take here. That's, yeah, that's really unfortunate. Everything after that seems okay. The trade is correct. And here. That was good. That was the best move, actually. And then that was good as well best move and then he just yeah he just crumbled all right interesting game interesting game all right everybody thank you so much for watching i uh, hope you enjoyed that game that was a, a bit of a better game than uh the previous day so uh if you did enjoy please leave a like share subscribe um and i'll see everybody tomorrow with another chess video peace